We just arrived at our uh, base at Volk Field, and um, everyone's getting situated in their rooms for the night. It's a uh, Air Force base up in Wisconsin, and uh, here's the room I'll be staying in. Bruh. Party room. Let's go, oh, boys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Watching Welcome Jurassic to Park. Even though yeah. it's just a commercial. It's commercials right now, but hey, in a few minutes we'll be back to Jurassic Park. So yeah. Uh, tomorrow we get to wake up at 7, and then we'll be on the road by 8, heading up to Minnesota for a dark sledding adventure. Awesome. So, uh, Monster yeah. Swancher. Everyone is uh, signing off now. Good job. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. February 15th, we woke up and decided to go take pictures by all of the snow-covered vehicles on base, such as the planes and the tanks and cannons. It was very, very, very deep snow, but it was a lot of fun, and then we moved on back to our adventures on the road towards Minnesota. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. The lake, it is said, never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship and true was a bone to be chewed when the gales of November came early. The ship was the pride of the American side Coming back from some mill in Wisconsin As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most With a crew and good captain well seasoned Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms When they left fully loaded for Cleveland Driving at base is the truly magical experience. The car is entrenched in snow, the massive snowman, and the fur coats are all far better views than the highway. You meet up with your guides, attend orientation to learn about your itinerary, safety concerns, and the history and culture of Ukpik. Then you eat a hot meal and finally embark into the cold to find your sleeping arrangements for the night with your Trek crew gear. My crew decided to spend the night out in snow graves, which are adequately named for their appearance to anyone who stumbles upon one during the night.
that's probably mine. Out by just kind of being with the dogs, uh, keep them calm. And, uh, so, but for now, we're just kind of waiting. Uh. Back in. Okay. This is uh we pick 2019. Uh, and that was freaking cold! Sauna to ice challenge. Woo. Are you awake, Danny? Are you sure? No. Okay. <laughs> Do you just have one in? Huh? Do you just have one in? No. I have none in. Oh, that's not it, Chief. Actually, it's better. Vi actually, it's better vision than. All right, well, we're 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 two, yeah. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping. I want most in 
life's the thing that I can win Spread your tiny wings and fly away And take the snow back with you where it came from on that day What I love forever is untrue And if I could, you know that I would fly away with you The breeze along the river seems to say That he'll only break my heart again should I decide to stay So little snowbird, take me with you when you go To that land of gentle breezes where the peaceful waters flow Spread your tiny wings and fly away And take the snow back with you where it came from on that day What I love forever is untrue And if I could, you know that I would fly away with you Yeah, if I could, you know that I would fly On the final night of our trek in Minnesota, our guides, Marshall and Blake, read us this excerpt from a novel called Up North. Up North is a certain way the wind feels in your face and the way an old wool shirt feels on your back. It's the peace that comes over you when you sit down to read one of your old trip journals or the anticipation that bubbles inside you when you start sorting through your tackle box early in the spring. Up north is the smell of the Duluth pack hanging in your basement and the sounds of pots clinking across the lake. It's a raindrop clinging to a pine needle and the dancing light of a campfire on the faces of friends. Up north is a lone set of cross-country ski tracks across a wilderness lake and wood smoke rising from a cabin chimney. It's punch berries in June, blueberries in July, and wild rice in September. Each of us has an up north. It's a time and place far from the here and now. It's a map on the wall, a dream in the making. A hugging at one's soul. For those who feel the tug, who make the dream happen, who put the map in the pack sack and go, the world is never quite the same again. We have been up north, and part of us always will be. A final word for Ukvik. I know that part of me will always be up north, and that is near and dear to my heart. I have made many memories with the dogs, my friends, my fellow scouts, and my guides. I hope to visit again as either a scout or a staff member. Ukpik will always be my favorite high adventure base. To Blake and Marshall, should either of you ever come across this video, you definitely made my third year Ukpik experience the best it could possibly be. You two went above and beyond to make the trek super enjoyable, let us make some big decisions such as picking our own runs, and taught us everything there is to know about the craft of mushing and the history of Ukpik. Thank you. To my trek crew, Nathaniel, Denny, Mr. Will, and my father, thank you for being a party crew. We all worked very well together, got through four whole runs, and didn't crash once. A surprise to be sure. This video can only capture half the joy and fellowship that you all expressed during our trip. To anyone who's never been in Scouts or done High Adventure, put yourself out there. Go join Scouts, because it offers valuable life experience, life lessons, and teaches you the skills that will continue to aid you throughout your every endeavor. If Scouts isn't available for you, find a way to get outside and enjoy our planet. It is such a unique place and deserves our attention. Every person has a place for adventure in their heart. No matter how large or how small, the earth has got something that will fill it and leave you begging for more. Hook Pick did that for me, and now I hope to pass on a fraction of the joy and amazement it brought me to everyone.